Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your window icon for any GLFW window. So as you may already know, every window that you create using the GLFW API gives you a default icon that looks something like this. But you might wonder, how can I change that? And I'm going to be showing you how to do just that in this video. So let's jump right into it. Alright, so here's some basic code for creating a window with GLFW and we're just updating the window as frequently as we can. Alright, so from here, after you created the window, you're probably going to want to change the window icon that is given by default. So to do that, let's go ahead and we're going to have to write a few lines of code. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so right off the bat, I'm going to show you the function that we're going to need to use to do this. So there's actually a function in the GLFW API. It's called GLFW set window icon. And it will take a few parameters. The first one being the most obvious is just going to take in the window that we're dealing with. That will be window from up here. The next one is the amount of images, okay? I'll talk about this a little bit later. Next one is the actual images in themselves. And it's on a type called GLFW image. We'll create that. But for now, we'll put no. All right. Let's go ahead and create a GLFW image. So glfw image and the eyes lowercase I'm going to go ahead and say images and the reason is images and not image is because we're actually going to be able to have multiple images uh, using this function we can actually pass in multiple images okay uh, but for our purposes we're just going to have one alright so if we go ahead and access this very first uh, element in this array our very first image you'll see it has it's a struct and I made a mistake there. All right, it ha it's a struct that has three um, field, uh, three things in this field, three three variables, width, height, and pixels. So for width, obviously, since this is the image, every image has width. So we're gonna pass in the width, and this width that I'm passing in is coming from up here. Okay, this code is responsible for loading the image file itself. And that's kind of out of the scope of this tutorial, but I'll talk about it later if you guys are interested. But the main thing, I'm assuming you guys can load an image and, and have like an array of pixels. I'm assuming you guys can do that. I'm just going to show you how to uh, take that information and uh, set the icon, the window icon with that. So uh, after, you, you, after you initialize the width, go ahead and initialize the height of this image. And it's kind of straightforward. And let's also do the same thing with pixels. And pixels is actually the array, the, the actual data itself of the image. Okay. So let's go ahead and select that. Alright. So every image is basically a 2D array of pixels. Um and this by the way, this this is RGBA. Red, green, blue. Alpha. Alpha is transparency. That's the format GLFW uh, takes in if, if I didn't make that clear. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what that is. So back to this function right here. GLF reset window icon. So we can now get rid of this note and put in images. Okay? And remember I said that this can hold multiple images potentially. We're only going to use one, but it can hold multiple images. So that's what this middle parameter is. It specifies how many images are there. So how many uh, icons are there? In our case, again, like I said, there's only one, so we'll put in one, okay? So if we go ahead and run this, and by the way, if I didn't make it clear, the image that we're gonna be using is this, okay? So when we run it, it should replace that default icon that we always get. So let's go ahead and see what happens. And yeah, so as you guys can see, on the very top left, our default icon got replaced with our new image that I just showed you guys, which is, I believe, right here. Yeah. So that's great. Um, that's pretty much it. But before I wrap things up, I kind of do want to talk about how I load an image. But real quick, before I jump into how I load image files, I want to show you guys one last thing. If we go ahead and copy this, for some reason, if you guys ever want to go back to that default window icon that you start off from the beginning, there is a way to do that. And there's not a separate function that we say like glfw set default window icon. 
We use the same exact function, but instead we put no for this, and we put zero for the images, because there are no images that we're giving it. So if we go ahead and run this, you guys should see that we go back to that same old default icon. Great. All right, so for how I load image files, I use the API called STB. You guys may have heard of it, you guys may have not. I'm sure there's a billion ways to load an image file, but yeah, so I, I basically start off with declaring a width and a height that are both ints. And I also have an int here called channels, which is not doing anything. It's not serving any purpose. I'm not using it. It's just here for demonstration purposes. What a channel basically is, it's a color channel, color component. So if you're working with the RGB color, that means it has three channels, okay? If it's RGBA, red, green, blue, alpha, that's four channels. So uh, this, is not, this is not what's important. This, is, this line right here is what's important. All right, so this function is from the STD API and basically takes in a file path and we just give in the width and the height and the channels and it just fills in all that data. And this last number right here is just the desired amount of channels, color channels that we want. And so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. It, it returns that array of pixels that we were using down here. And so yeah, that's really basically it. There's really not much else to it. Um, yeah, I just wanted to quickly go over that in case some of you do use the STD API and wanted to know how to load image. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.